So Ryan, thank you for joining us. Um, obviously this chat is about boxing, it's heavily reliant on the Probellum yeah. um, card that's coming up now on Saturday the 18th of December in Sunderland. Just talk to us a bit about the obviously the sponsorship between the club, they obviously sponsored the, the shirt sleeve for our game against Buxton on the telly. You as a big boxing fan must have been buzzing about that announcement. Yeah, like they they've obviously only sort of set themselves up recently, and they've already made massive, massive waves in boxing. You know, we've got the likes of Jim White on board. We've got Sam Jones as well, who's been leading the presser yesterday. I was watching, um, who obviously knows his stuff about boxing, and they've got they've, they had their first card actually last week in Dubai, didn't they? With the likes of Sonny Edwards, who's he's unbelievable, like as a boxer, world champion. Um, he was headlining that in Dubai, which was another brilliant card. Um, so yeah, no, this is their first one in the UK, so it'll be. It'll be very good. You know, they're obviously very smart because they know the northeast. I uh, love their boxing. Like you've seen the likes of uh, Lewis Ritson, the the fan support he gets, and obviously this one's in Sunderland now. So yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be interesting. It's gonna be very good to watch, and it's gonna be a, a brilliant the atmosphere. You know, last time Chris Eubank, he was up there. He was he was sending uh, microwaves, wasn't he? So <laughs> wonder if there was any microwaves make their way to Sunderland. It just shows the the kind of the pull that they've got as well to get them certain names to come in and, and sign for their brand. Yeah, exactly. It just shows you obviously the massive strides they've made already in a short period of time. You know, like I said, Jim White, who's massive in in uh, obviously in football, talk sport, he does as well. And then he's moved over now to Probellum, and he's um, obviously at the top of his game. And you've got Sam Jones, who's actually had him on my, on the podcast um, before, and like he speaks so well. He's like he's like a young Eddie Hearn, people would say, and. Um, he was leading the presser yesterday, and that's that's a very smart move as, move as well from Probellum because I think that was his first one he's ever done, and he spoke brilliantly. And then the card as well, it's mixed. So you've got the likes of three weight world champion Ricky Burns, Lewis Ritson, who's obviously a, a hero up there in the northeast, and then you've got a lot of local fighters who, too who are like just at the start of their career. Um, so yeah, it's 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 stacked. It's a stacked card, and it'll be a very good one to watch. Before we get onto those bigger names, the Lewis Ritsons and the Ricky Burns are obviously headlining it as a, the unstoppable. Fights. We you just touched on uh, a couple of local fighters that are taking place on the undercard. Joe Laws, first of all, he's up against a, a big Russian. It's going to be a difficult fight, that one, isn't it? Yeah, exactly. You know, uh, the, the Russians come to fight. They're like they're sort of like the Mexicans as well. You know, you're going to expect a very good fight, and um, you know, obviously they're, they're they're they've got the home support behind them. They're obviously relative. Joe Laws obviously relatively starting off short in, in his career. He's still. Uh, Bit of a, a a novice probably to the pro pro game, and um, he's he's learning on the job every every fight, and um, he'll be looking obviously to put in an unbelievable performance in, in front of his home crowd too, and he's had a great start start to his career as also, so he'll he'll want to build on that because I'm sure he has he has massive things and massive dreams ahead of him in boxing. You touched on there that the support in the northeast is is unrivaled. It's one of the, the hotbeds of boxing, isn't mm -hmm. it? And you see the fighters coming out of it. Another one, Mark Dickinson, young lad. I think he's only 22. He made his pro debut in October. Mm -hmm. He's in front of his home crowd again, and he'll be hoping for another positive result. Exactly, and I think Probellum were very smart in going to the northeast because there's not probably enough cards there as there should be probably every year um, because of the support and the, the love for boxing that they have up there and for him to be fighting on that card because I'm sure um, there will be a massive crowd even for like the the pre like the, the the fights at the very start. Um, I'm sure they'll be all stacked in there at five o'clock. So usually you see them coming in at nine o'clock. But up in the northeast, they love their boxing that much that I'm sure um, they'll, there'll be a massive crowd for him. Obviously, all his family and friends, you know, from um, around his area will be there too. And it's like it's his second fight, so he'll he'll obviously he's obviously learning. He's um, each fight, you know, he's going to be uh, learning a lot of the pro game and. Um, no, I'm sure he's looking forward to it as well. It'll be it'll be a massive fight for him because obviously he's got all the eyes of his friends and his family there. But that's great to have so so uh, quickly in your career. And from one on the scale, obviously someone who's starting out his pro career, obviously somebody else who's very experienced in the boxing game, in Thomas Patrick Ward, mm. he's had to have his fight pushed back a month due to suffering a cut. It was supposed to take place in November. Yeah, it's taking place now on Saturday. What kind of challenges he face against Leonardo Padilla? Obviously, does that kind of the preparation take a bit of a hit because it's four weeks later or do you think um, it's experience are carrying through? Yeah obviously experience he obviously has the right team around him but sometimes you can sort of iron a few things out you know you can sort of get better at certain parts of uh, of your game um, in that month to so that extra month and then it gives you more time to look at your opponent as well and um, he'll probably have, he'll have the best cut men around him to sort of to, to sort of to sort his eye and um, you know, I'm sure he'll be fine. He's obviously got big things destined for him too, and uh, he'll be looking for a, a world title shot soon. So, um, no, he'll be wanting to put on a, a, a big performance on Saturday. 
and then we move into the main section of the fight, the unstoppable section of the bill. Uh, Ricky Burns, three weight world champion, as you mentioned before. He's, he's going to have to battle back, isn't he? Now, two years out of the ring, obviously, since that loss to uh, Lee Selby at the mm -hmm. O2. What do you think about his opponent, Emiliano Dominguez Rodriguez? Never been stopped before. He's going to be a tricky character, isn't he? Yeah, I mean, you get them, you get them fighters who have never been stopped, and it's sort of like sometimes fighters who are fighting against them sort of want to be that guy to make a statement to stop them. But I think Ricky Burns, he's a three-way world champion. His CV speaks for itself. He'll he'll not be probably thinking too much into that. He'll um, because he's obviously had a two-year layoff. He it's a, it's his first fight f first fight back, so he'll just want to put on a good performance. He'll want to probably get the rounds in as well, get um, for his fitness and. Um, he obviously believes that he can have a crack at it again at the world stage, so I'm sure he's um, sort of wanting to get the rounds in and then um, go on to bigger and better things after that. So uh, you, you should be expecting a Ricky Burns win quite comfortably as well. And in the second fight in that cold feature, sees Lewis Ritson against Christian Arutzguita. I can't say it, the <laughs> pronunciation is very bad. <laughs> uh, it's his first fight since the IBF uh, defeat a few, uh, year, a few months ago, sorry, back in June. How important is it is that he gets back to, to winning way straight away and put that defeat behind him? Yeah, like, Lewis Ritson's got one of the best supports in the whole of the UK. Like, is the the fans he has are are, are are loyal to the core. You know, they're they're crazy and um, they make unbelievable atmosphere for him. And you know, when he when if if he does get a few good wins, um, so the nights that he can have in store for him are insane and um, he's obviously coming up against a Mexican and the Mexicans have been doing doing quite well against UK fighters in the last year or two there's been a few surprises so I'm sure that'll be in the back of his mind but um, obviously he probably hasn't been at his best the past year or two and um, there was obviously high hopes for him but I'm sure that um, he's got enough talent he's got enough, enough belief and belief in his team as well that they'll sort of see the support that he has and the potential he has that they'll not be taking um, taking them lightly because they know that it could be a potential banana skin. Do you think you see that as a bit of a, a favourite thing for um, Lewis Ritson being on home soil? I think his opponent has only fought out of Mexico and Canada. Mm -hmm. I think he's only had one fight in the Republic of Ireland during his, his boxing career. First time in the United Kingdom, it's a big night for him as well, isn't it? Exactly, and that's, that, that's what I mean. They, they've been coming here and they've um, yeah, you're like the likes of Lara against that uh, Warrington. They turn into stars if they can get that upset, and um, he'll probably be looking at that for inspiration. And um, you know, the the money is in the UK for boxing. A lot of it, but in the UK or America, and um, he knows if he can get a good win against a, a big name in Lewis Ritson, then um, he'll have massive nights ahead of him, and uh, in the UK especially. So it'll be it'll be an unbelievable fight. That's why it's the main event, and um, I'm sure um, I, I I'm sure Lewis Ritson will come out and win him.